Energize your English. Understanding, I'm low on energy. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase that you might hear quite often, I'm low on energy. This simple yet expressive phrase is a great example of how English speakers convey feelings or states. So, if you're ready to boost your English skills, let's get started. I'm low on energy is a phrase used to express that someone is feeling tired or lacking energy. It's a metaphorical way to describe one's physical or mental state, similar to how a battery might be low on power. This phrase is often used in casual, everyday conversations. Example 1. Imagine you've had a long day at work. When you come home, you might say, I'm low on energy, meaning you're too tired to do much else. Example 2. If you haven't eaten all day, you might say, I'm low on energy, indicating that you need food to replenish your energy. This versatile phrase can be used in various contexts, from physical tiredness to lack of motivation. Physical fatigue. After a workout, you might say, I'm low on energy, indicating you're physically exhausted. Mental exhaustion. When you're tired from studying or working, saying, I'm low on energy, can express mental fatigue. Lack of motivation. Sometimes, the phrase can imply a lack of enthusiasm or motivation for a particular task. English is rich with expressions. Here are some alternatives that convey a similar meaning. I'm drained. This suggests a complete depletion of energy. I'm running on empty. Like a car with no fuel, this indicates having no energy left. I'm beat, a more informal way to say you're very tired. In English-speaking cultures, openly expressing one's physical or mental state is common. Saying, I'm low on energy, is a socially acceptable way to convey that you might need a break or some rest. It's often met with understanding and empathy from others. And that's a wrap on, I'm low on energy. We hope this video has energized your understanding of this common English phrase. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the nuances and expressions that make it unique. Keep practicing, and don't forget to subscribe for more English learning content. Until next time, stay energetic and keep learning.